Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Sassy Muskoka. Today we're going to talk about how we rescued a baby squirrel. Keith's daughter Madison is really into Marvel, and so we decided to name him Loki. A few weeks ago, we let out our dog Mika, and she was acting a little bit crazy. And then we noticed that there was a little baby squirrel just under our deck. His eyes were still closed, and we were worried about him, so we brought him inside the house. We gave him some water with a baby dropper and worried about where his mom could be. So we decided that we'd let him stay outside for the night, even though we already touched him and our scent was on him. So the next day, he was in the exact same spot basking in the sun and his eyes were open this time. The animals were super excited to meet him as we brought him inside. We put him in a Tupperware with a little bit of blankets and went online to search how to care for baby squirrels. Most of the information said that he would need to be going to some type of rehabilitation center. We found the Aspen Valley Wildlife Sanctuary. Here he is in his little Tupperware container, moving around. He was so cute. Here he is in Keith's hand. You can see how small he is. His eyes are still closed. Here he is in my hands. Oh my gosh, he was just so cute. Aspen Valley cares for sick, injured, and orphan animals, and then once rehabilitated, they send them back to their natural environment. The sanctuary is located in beautiful Rosso, Ontario, which is about an hour north of me, still in cottage country, and it's located on 460 acres of natural habitat. They also care for about 30 animals that have been taken from zoos and other impound areas. They are a non-for-profit organization and any donation is greatly appreciated. The other neat thing is they have guided tours. Currently though, due to COVID, those aren't taking place and they also are always asking for volunteers. You can also sponsor an animal the average weekly rehab costs for small animals such as skunks, squirrels, and raccoons are $40 a week. Foxes and beavers are $70 a week and fawns are $80 a week. They also have a Facebook page which I will put in the link below as well as their website information. So when we called the wildlife sanctuary, it was after hours. So they said we could bring Loki the next day. So we were worried about him throughout the night, but he did well. And my mom and I took him up to the sanctuary and it was beautiful. It was wonderful. There was numerous volunteers there ready to take him and assess him. We also got a number for him and I'm allowed to email just to check up and see how he's doing. And last we checked a couple of days ago, he's doing great and will be rehabilitated back into his natural environment as soon as possible. It felt so amazing saving a life, and I'm so very grateful to the Aspen Valley Wildlife Sanctuary, so please check out their website. I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing on my face today. I started with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, also from e.l.f. the Contour Palette, and I'm using the darkest shade in this palette, this brown. Next, I went in with another e.l.f. product, their new putty blush, and I have the shade Glistening Peach. And then all over my face, I have the Fit Me Powder. I have the shade 15 Light. On my eyes today, I have Amber Eyes Profusion Palette that I picked up at Marshall's for $2. You can't go wrong with that. So I used about four shades to get this look today. They have some glittery shades and then some matte shades and as, as well as some satin finishes. I really like this palette. I think it was great for the price. Also on my eyes for mascara, I use the Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara. And last but not least, I have two Rimmel products. The first one is Airy Fairy, and it is a nice pink neutral. And the second is Stay Glossy in the shade Blushing Belgrades. 
Thank you for watching today. If you want to subscribe to see future videos, my next one I'm planning to do is a full face of e l f Thanks for watching. Have a great day.